Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing a few things with you that have arrived recently. As some of you might know, it's my birthday coming up. And whilst I can't throw a lovely big birthday housewarming party this year, I am still super, super happy that my birthday dinner with my friends can still go ahead. And I'm feeling a little bit sad today, but I thought going through my birthday options with you guys might cheer me up. And I really wanna hear your opinions and have you helped me pick a dress? So we're gonna dive into some stuff that I have bought recently. Some of the dresses I've bought myself and then others have been gifted as part of like some work that I do with ASOS so just throwing that out there and also some things to address yes my finger does look weird and gross I'm very conscious about it I don't know why I never have like plasters on my fingers so I feel really weird I did one of those allergy test thingies so yeah that is why I have a plaster on my finger and yes my boobs do look massive today I feel like they get commented on a lot I am wearing a bra today I am. So if that starts poking out, that's not something you guys are used to seeing. Normally we don't have straps leaking out because I just don't wear bras. But I am at that stage in life where I can't get away with not wearing one anymore. Like it is, it is a lot. Anyway, I'm going to stop touching my boobs and we're going to dive into some of the things that I have picked up to potentially wear for my birthday. Very excited that it's nearly my birthday. So birthday plans and bear this in mind because I really like to kind of dress for the environment. By the way, if I'm squinting, I'm so sorry, but it's so bright today and I can't actually, I can't see myself in the viewfinder. So if things are out of place, like if there are bra straps poking out, I'm not gonna know about it. And uh, I'm just like being really, really blinded. So my hair could go completely wild. I will have no idea. All those little disclaimers aside, I feel like that was quite disclaimer heavy for the start of this video. We're gonna pull out the unboxing scissors and get into some stuff. Bra, poking out. This is why I don't wear bras, people. So I'm gonna go through the bits from ASOS. First up, I hope I picked the right size for this. I'm never really sure when I wanna do like an oversized blazer look, what size to go for. But I love this blazer. It's like a kind of pinky, neutral toned pinstripe blazer. I love it. I thought it could look so cool with a belt around the middle or just worn really oversized, but as like a blazer dress with like some shorts underneath. Could do cycling shorts, could do shorter cycling shorts so it looks like a dress. Go either way really, and I just love the colour of this. It's actually more of a pinky colour to my eye, IRL, than it looked on the website. But I'm not mad about that, I really like it. And these buttons are so cute. They're like a tortoiseshell, but like black and white. I've never seen that before. That's so cute. I love it, and I like the thread they've used. Cute. Sorry, I will say cute a lot. It's my fave word. Let me live, okay? Yeah, I got this in a size 14 so that it would hopefully be like oversized on me. So we'll see. This could be a contender. I'm going to do an Instagram post on all of my potential ASOS birthday dresses because I thought that would be fun to do this month. So that will be coming up soon, but this looks, this looks crazy on camera. Like it's coming off really metallic, but it's just kind of like a satiny, sheen it definitely didn't look this way on the website though even though it's a 10 it's kind of looking like there's a lot of material we will see how i go with this but i love dresses in this style so we'll see i just really love the color anyway as i was saying i completely forgot to finish oh susie finish your stories backstory i like to dress for the environment that i'm going to be in for my birthday and my birthday dinner is going to be at a restaurant called the olive grove which is in brighton if you are like local to the area i highly recommend that you go there because the food is incredible and it's very much like a mediterranean vibe so i've kind of picked those lovely like neutral kind of like whites brownie tones that kind of vibe which also works really nicely between um summer and autumn as well and i was going to potentially wear some of these for like a birthday brunch in my house sorry if you can hear like a leaf blower but that is loud i don't have any windows open but yeah so i was going to do a birthday at brunch in my house which is obviously kind of like a similar vibe so i thought that i could have like another dress that kind of worked for that or another outfit that worked along the same basically the theme was the same for all of my birthday occasions but i'm now just doing a dinner as per bojo's rules so you know this dress was slightly less along my theme in terms of the color it's like a off white kind of like beigey color but it's in like a linen material it's gorgeous i really like the shape of it it's got like strapless sweetheart neckline it's got a little cut out here and then it's fitted at the waist in kind of a wrap style skirt i really like this i like this so much more than i did i obviously liked it on the website because i ordered it but i like it so much more irl this is, this could be cute. This could be a contender. So those were my ASOS dresses. There are obviously, that box is huge. There are other bits in there, which I need for other things. But those were my ASOS essential B-Day dresses. Next, we have, 
have some options from House of CB, which I feel like gets a really crummy rep. But some of my favorite dresses that I've ever worn and some of your favorite things that you've ever like loved on my Instagram are actually from House of CB. So I do think you can find some lovely pieces on there. And I just really love the shapes of a lot of their dresses. I obviously don't mind a lot of leg, which is something that I feel like they really specialize in. And I've always really liked how thick the dresses are. Like they really feel like there's a lot of material to them. I've never found one yet i mean i'm maybe i'm trying on different ones and other people have had different experiences but i've never found there's one that's been see-through i just always feel like their dresses are great quality so i thought they would be a great contender for the birthday dress and this white one is just gorgeous it's really simple it's like a nice little kind of satin feel spaghetti strap midi dress mi midi dress mini dress it's got a zipped back and adjustable straps and i think this one could be so sweet and just so simple and something that i would keep in my wardrobe for a really long time because the quality feels really lovely it's a really timeless color and the cut is pretty timeless as well to be honest like it's very very simple but i really like that then we have this dress which is going to be kind of a bit difficult i think for me to show you without it being on but it's basically like a shirt dress with a wrap style skirt this is obviously going to need a steam pre the big day but we'll just work with it for today but i love this it's in like a non-linen-y but linen-y like feel fabric i believe i do not think this is linen i'm gonna say no but i got this in a size small what did i get the other one in size small both are size small so pray for Suze. House of CB is just one of those brands where I just don't, I haven't bought a dress from them since like last summer. So I just don't really know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna be. But yeah, I love this. I love the kind of woven effect on it. It's almost like the thread looks a bit like ropey. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it is really, really lovely. A very non House of CB item for what I think you would think of when you think of House of CB. But it just looks so gorgeous and when it's not crinkled it does look quite expensive i mean it also was quite expensive because house of cb isn't like your regular like zara prices you know but yeah the only issues that i might have with this apart from obviously the obvious being things not fitting is it is very very low cut and obviously my boobs are just massive at the moment so boob tape might need to be my best friend here but the length along the legs looks like it's going to be good it has a zip fastening on the skirt which could be great as long as obviously it fits my hips but there's really not a lot of elastic going on with this so you're going to have to like nail the sizing but i'm hoping it'll be nice and fitted on the hips so that this goes really baggy and just falls really nicely on my top half but we will see yeah this is one of the dresses that i was just the most excited about and it fits my birthday theme really really well we then also have these as a potential shoe I feel like these would look really, really lovely with either of the dresses. But I also have a pair which I will pop on screen coming my way from Zara. And they're just a lot more like minimalist, a little bit more like fashion at the moment. But also a low heel, which I really, really rate. Because I'm not entirely sure that I want to wear like a high heel. I mean, I haven't worn a big heel in such a long time now. So a lower heel is definitely an option. I also have a really nice like square toed, you know, like when the front of the shoe is square, square toed sandal that is really nice and strappy from Topshop from back in January, which if I can dig those out, cause I have no idea where that pair of shoes is. If I can find them, then I might also throw those into the mix as well because they'll suit all of the dresses really nicely and it's a lower heel, it'll be super comfortable. So that is definitely like a shoe option as well. But let's get to trying these on and we can all pick a birthday outfit for me together. Lost the feeling in my leg. YouTube life. Go, 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 go. Who's next? Okay, let's hope you can see me. I feel like I'm gonna need to change this little bench up soon and maybe swap out like the hat, maybe for a fedora, like going into autumn in the living room that literally has nothing in it. If you don't watch my home vlogs, you will not know that this living room literally has about five things in it. Yeah, there's this on this side and then there's a TV and then there's a sofa and that's about it. Because I'm not finished with this room yet, but I've got to pay for the shutters, so. Hmm. So yeah, this room is a work in progress, but it makes a nice filming background. Also, I feel like this aesthetic really helps to kind of like give you an idea of the vibe for birthday, you know? Anyway, this dress, I'm gonna have to cut the tag out because I love it. I feel like it fits really, really well. I don't know if you can see my shoes. I hope you can. Let me bring them down a bit just in case. She says, I'll end up filming my feet. Yeah, so hopefully you can see the shoes. I've gone for YSL sandals at the moment. This is like the summery option. These shoes and these shoes 
are kind of well, hello. These shoes are basically my summer options if it is cold, and I mean like arctic because that is the only way in which i'm giving up this theme people just so dedicated i don't even know why i just decided because i didn't get to go to greece for my birthday this year that i am bringing greece to me basically but if it is very arctic and like i just can't because i'm not good really with like when i feel cold it's game over i want to go home so if it is cold i will probably wear a coat and a more classic style shoe if i go for this option because this dress is very like it can go other way it can transcend seasons and it's one of the reasons why i really liked it as a potential option for my day because it is very classic and i know i'll wear it again and again and again yeah that is what it is looking like i really like the fact that it's got corseting like here, it's basically really helping because I'm not wearing a bra with this. So I've taken my bra off and uh, it is really like doing good things, which I like. It's holding me in well and I like the corseting around it. It's really, really helping me. That and the adjustable straps are a lifesaver because I can basically like make this well structured and well fitted, you know, you know the vibe. So yeah, I think these, because they're not a woven string, in my head, they were always like a woven material, but they're actually not. They're more of a like, I don't really know what you call it. Just like a, not a plastic, plastic? But it doesn't feel like a plastic, if that makes sense. But they're not like string strappy sandals. These could be a really good contender for wearing with a coat because they're not like, I feel like a woven kind of like string style lace up shoe is very summery. You've got that rustic vibe and it really doesn't lend itself well to wearing with a coat. It just looks kind of jarring. But because these are tie up, but they're not like woven, they're a bit more classic in their texture and they basically, I think they just lend themselves like slightly better to being worn maybe with like a jacket of some kind, like maybe a blazer. I think these would work well with not like a winter coat, but obviously October can go either way. We could have a heat wave as we have done before. I remember going to the beach on my birthday. It was like 21 degrees or it could be snowing really at this rate in 2020, who knows quite frankly. So if I choose to wear this and I want to wear, I'll wear a white coat over it. I've got like a white kind of flowy, it's smart, but it's not too smart kind of coat and it's not too thick. It's not too wintry. I can throw that on and then pair this with it and it wouldn't look like jarring and it would look like a nice neutral outfit. This bag is also potentially going to be great with this dress. This is from ASOS. So I actually just pulled this out of the box. It has a gold chain, which I don't feel like goes with this outfit and the vibe that I'm going for, but it kind of can tuck in there. And then it's got these like magnetic closes. Closed closures, closes. <laughs> I need my lunch. But yeah, I feel like that's gonna work really, really beautifully. And I know a few of you will recognize that I already have like a lot of these style bags. I have them in nude, a tan, it's a dark tan, which could go quite well with these shoes. They basically match like ex almost exactly. I have beige, dark tan, and then black. So this is still like a color that I don't have and I think works really, really well. It basically almost matches the shoes it's just like ever so slightly lighter in its tone but they work really really well together so that could be an option so these shoes this bag and then a white coat could be an option i am going to put these on for you fyi but it's going to take me about a million years so i have to be really really dedicated to these shoes if i am going to wear them because once i put these on i'm never taking them off it'll be a week after my birthday i'll still be wearing them the shoes are on i'm cutting the tag out Goodbye. I'm gonna have to crouch down to talk to you because the heels are on. Even if I don't wear this for my birthday, I am gonna wear this somewhere, many places. There's always black and white parties, always black and white parties. So I will wear this at some point regardless. I'm keeping it. I just think it's such a nice fit. Feels really great. I feel really great in it, most importantly. So yeah, still a birthday contender dress, but I think I will just have this in my wardrobe. I've got a mirror over here, by the way, which is why I'm looking this way. Shoes I am so happy with, hopefully. Uh, stand back here, try not to knock anything over, you'll be able to see them. So yeah, shoes are on. I actually really like them way more than I thought I would. I really wasn't sure when I pulled them out of the box, whether they were gonna be something that needed to go back, but I really, really like them. And I don't have anything else like it in my wardrobe. So I think they're definitely keepers. But yeah, I am very, very happy with this dress. And let me know if you think it should be a birthday contender. And let me know which shoes you preferred as well. I really rate a sandal, I'm not gonna lie. I love a sandal because obviously it's just so much more comfortable, but these are actually, I'm surprised by the comfort of these. I really was not expecting this. I generally just find high street shoes to be so uncomfortable, but these actually are not so bad. We'll see when I walk through Brighton whether they are actually comfortable because 
no doubt i will have to do that at some point and cobbled streets and heels just don't work but yeah let me know if you think like completely flat like low heel or go for a high heel well, let me know what you think but i just love this dress i love the fit i feel like i've talked about it for about five minutes now but yeah also i can't remember if i have disclaimed this already in this video but if my makeup is looking a bit funky today <laughs> It's because I trial my birthday makeup, but I actually did like some things a bit like backwards and it didn't work. It didn't work. And I also trialed my hair as well, which I'm quite happy with. There's a bit that's going a bit flicky, but basically just because my hair is actually like, it's growing fast. So I will need to have that cut before my birthday. But I decided to leave the front bits like a little bit longer today. I think I'm going to do a get ready with me. So let me know if that is something that you would like to see. It will look vaguely, vaguely like this, maybe a little bit more like warm tones thrown in because i'm really feeling that vibe at the moment but yeah dress number one what do we think do i wear it do i not let me know okay so next dress i'm gonna have to get in a size eight because i'm currently having to hold a lot of material at the back but this dress is so so beautiful i actually think i would keep this for years and years and years it's just one of those like classic cuts in a really really beautiful fabric a beautiful color i feel like it does a lot for my skin tone the cutaway i could do without to be honest i'm wearing shapewear underneath full disclosure because i am so bloated right now so bloated i am having the most horrific month just fyi in case anyone needed to know so yeah that is what we're working with aside from that it's definitely contributing to my sadness i'm gonna need this in an eight because it is just without it is very roomy and just like completely gonna fall open at the top okay this is definitely too shiny too dressy a bit too jazzy for me i think for this occasion if i was having like a big thing pre-covid times this might actually be more of a contender because it's a lovely autumnal color it's basically a perfect autumnal birthday dress really but not quite right for the environment that i'm gonna be in but i kind of wanted to give this one a go anyway it is also quite big on me so we have you can see at the back it's literally gaping and i know it's meant to like be free falling but free falling doesn't mean your boobs could potentially fall out at any moment which it could with this because there is a lot of excess material it's hugely gaping at the back like that actually isn't that's not right it should be a bit more like that loose but not like you know absolutely gaping and i know i know i should have just ordered it in a smaller size but i just can't get my head around sizing anymore so could have potentially sized down but i really love the size of this dress anyway I, it's actually reminded me i think i might maybe have like a champagne colored version of this i will pop a photo so i wore that dress in marrakesh it's one of my all-time favorite dresses it's also from house of cb and it is beautiful i'm waiting for the black to come back into stock in my size because i really want it in black but i'm pretty sure the champagne version is in my attic with all of my events dresses that like all the sequiny things that are like christmasy and just sadly not being worn this year unless the rules get lifted and i can throw like a big Kind of new year's christmas party which would be great but yeah chances of that happening slim to none anyway <laughs> chances of me going up in my loft again this year slim to none anyway i'm rambling so yeah basically i do have a champagne version of this which fits like a glove which could also be a potential contender do we like the style is it worth me going up in my loft to get that one out let me know should i reorder this in a small size would love to know i do love this style of dress i just think it suits my body shape so so well and i love the fact that it is like all of this material is kind of like just falling like i love the way it just sits and it's so great for if you're going to a dinner because it really can hide a food baby and i really rate that so yeah what do you think let me know i actually i do really love it i just obviously need a smaller size but it is such a great alternative to the house of cb dresses because i believe it is a little bit cheaper and i know a lot of you just really love asos as well but yeah do i need this in an eight let me know okay gonna need boob tape at the ready for this one but i actually really love this like i knew i was gonna like it i just know from experience how well a blazer an oversized blazer worked as a dress really works for me i would belt it but i think it would be a bit too short if i belted it quite honestly so i'd probably belt it and then wear like a cycle short underneath and it could be a nice option if i'm going out for like a kind of like breakfasty birthday breakfasty situation maybe if the dress code is dressy which it is almost never dressy 
see if I'm involved because let me tell you, I love tracksuit bottoms and a hoodie more than, I would say more than I love a morning coffee. Like if I had to choose between the two, I think I'd stick with uh, trackies and a hoodie. But if that is a situation that arises and that ends up being planned, you know, I'm covered for something cute. But it's such a nice option, especially for a dinner because there is just a lot of material here and I have a food baby and no one would know. I am a big fan of this. I'm definitely keeping it. It is so, such a pretty color. I really love this color and I think it works so beautifully with these heels. Very, very cute. I could also wear something more casual on my feet, like even down to trainers if I decided to pair up the cycle shorts. Yeah, it's a really beautiful option and something that I actually think I will get a lot of wear out of. But I just need the boob tape for both my boobs and just to stick it. Like a really great boob tape, even if you're not like doing anything like positioning wise to your boobs, I really rate it for just like being able to stick down the lining of um, something that you're wearing. So that there's basically, even if you move, your item of clothing doesn't. I love that and it also means that you can make it so that it's not as revealing because I would tape it kind of further in if that makes sense. But yeah, lovely blazer. It would work so nicely even not as a dress just if you wanted it as an oversized blazer to wear with things. I would probably get so much use out of this to be honest because I love an oversized blazer with jeans, cycle shorts as I keep banging on about and even into the summer as well this would work because of the colour and it's kind of made to look, I keep saying kind of today, my brain is fried, it's the end of the week or it's the end of the week for me not for you, I don't know when you're seeing this but it's made to look almost like a linen-y fabric and because of that I think it would work so nicely going into summer, I would wear this in the in-between seasons like spring and autumn, it's just a really nice all-rounder I love it. And I love the little slit it has on the side as well, it's cute. Let me know what you think. Is it a contender for birthday dress? Do we like it? I'm a fan, I'm not gonna lie. And it's very like toasty, it's very thick. The quality feels really nice. So I think this could be a really good option if the weather is a little bit more on the cloudy, chilly side. If it's overcast, I don't mind. It doesn't even have to be sunny, but overcast and like warm, that kind of like humid weather would be ideal really for me and my outfit situation for my birthday dinner. So we're just gonna manifest. We're gonna manifest some good warm autumnal weather. Okay, I've just sent this one to Lauren as like a do we like do we like question marks we'll let you know her response so this was the one that i was most excited about what do i think firstly being a girl with a bob i now have a real passion like a hatred passion for anything that has a collar because it just interferes. It actually makes me unnecessarily want to bob my hair to my chin so that I don't have that interference because it is very, very, very annoying. But at the back, it just like, they kind of collide a bit and it's a bit annoying. So kind of minus points for that, but it's not really House of CB's fault or the dresses fault that I have a bob. So that's my own fault. Anyway, it fits really well, which I'm really happy with. I'm wearing it with the same like strappy type heels, but I'm gonna show you a few different options because there are so many that I feel like will go with this. It is a little bit see-through on the top, which I feel like most people won't like. I can kind of work around it a little bit. Hi, Nana. And it was very, very baggy. So to begin with, it was more like this and like very, very free flowing, which if the top is free flowing, my boobs are gonna be free flowing. So that's not really, it's not really the vibe we're going for. So what I did is I've tucked it where the fabric joins the skirt and just kind of like folded it under. And then when I actually like wear it, what I can do is also safety pin it as well. And for extra insurance, I could run some double-sided boob tape along here as well. You could even use it to have it like completely, almost completely like closed up, or you could just safety pin and have it like that. But I just don't think that with this much material, it's that flattering on me. I think that having a small V is very like elongating on my figure and I really like that. Also works really nicely with this little ruched bag. And I can wear my tan sandals and my tan ruched bag or my birthday bag, which <laughs> you will see in the future. But um, yeah, not right now, but my birthday bag would also go with a fair few of these dresses. So that is also a potential, but I'm gonna show you this I think, I need to check and see what Lauren says because I want to take this tag out, but I won't take the tag out unless she likes it. Please hold. Yes, yes, yes. I've got the full three yeses. Yay. Okay, so I can take the tag out, which is great. It's always a really dramatic moment with House of CB when you take the tag off because you know there's no going back. I mean, same with everywhere else, but there's just so much more tag, you know? 
Anyway, this is the dress. How much of that can I go? It's like a, I'm like a truck when it's reversing like this. Yeah, this is the dress with the heels. Again, I like that it has a lot of material around here. This is a perfect dinner dress. I can eat so much food and no one is ever gonna know. It's great, I'm gonna keep this for when I have uh, children. You guys will never know. <laughs> I like it. Let's show you what these shoes look like. Hang on, please hold. Oh, it feels so weird to be in a flat shoe. Oh. For reference, those shoes are actually very comfortable. I have been standing in them for I would say nearly an hour. I'll pop here how long I have been trying on outfits for and like filming so that you guys can like get a rough idea of uh, how long I've been standing in those shoes, but they are very, very comfy. So this is the dress with the YSL sandals. I really like the, whoa, I'm gonna knock the lamp over. I really like this as an option just in case I don't feel like wearing heels. And this is probably the more, like less dressy option of the bunch. And I feel like goes really well with the whole dinner setting. And it's gonna be really, really nice. And it's gonna make me feel like I actually am in Greece, which is the dream. <laughs> that was my dream. <laughs> so sad. So I love that this is an option, but I just never find that wearing a sandal is like the most flattering. And I never feel as great as when I wear even a slight heel. And these, for example, these were from, I believe Topshop. Oh no, ASOS, I think last year. I love these so much. These were like, these kind of shoes were everywhere. They're still everywhere this year, to be honest. The ones that I bought from Zara are in like a very light, neutral, kind of like beigey, tanny color. And I think those will work really, really well with this outfit. But just to give you an idea of how much more it elongates the leg, I'm gonna show you with these on, even though these wouldn't be my preferred uh, shoe. I also need to fake tan so badly. My tan lines are just crazy. I have white feet. Anyway, so ideally I would like to wear even a slight heel. I feel like it makes such a difference even just to how I feel. Like I feel so much more confident. One thing I would say about this dress option is it doesn't lend itself so well to being worn under like a longer coat. So if it is very chilly, I'm not going to be loving life. Although I am very warm in this, but today it is super warm. I am very, very warm today. This room is hot, but depending on the weather, this may or may not be an option. I just don't find like big kind of like baggy shirts work so well under coats. This is definitely one of those items that I would wear more and warmer days but because it has the long sleeves it does give me the option to work with like a slightly cooler temperature and not be cold i really love like the amount of material there is like over the bum it's very thick and like not see-through on the bum as well which is great i love the amount of ruching i think it works so nicely it really gives you that little bit of extra shape which is so wonderful and i love the wrap style skirt i think it's very very flattering and the top as well is just great i just love the material and the uh, kind of texture that this like woven stitching kind of brings to it is really, really beautiful. So yeah, that is my final kind of proper look. I will end things on a slightly more casual note and you can let me know which is your favorite out of all of the looks. What do we think? Do we love this? Do we love this as much as me and Lauren love this? Let me know. You guys, I almost forgot this dress. This is one that I feel like I could wear a multitude of different shoes with, lots of different jackets and it wouldn't be too, Mm, maybe actually a little bit interfering with the uh, design of the dress. Maybe I would say this is more of like one of those in between not cold but not warm kind of options. It is very snug. So my arms and my body are gonna be very warm but my legs and shoulders obviously are going to be out. But I love this dress. You will have seen it before if you've watched my Zara haul, my most recent one. I will link it if you haven't seen it. I believe it will be up there somewhere. I love this dress and I just love a white dress in general. I know that they will always be something that I will have in my wardrobe and I will get so much use out of. And this one is really nice because it is, it's like a shirt material. Okay, so before I was rudely interrupted by my phone, it's like a nice stretchy material, but almost in a shirt material. I feel like I've said this in a video before, but because of that, it feels like dressy, but not too dressy. It almost feels like a little bit Kind of casual but not as casual as a jersey dress and it feels like better quality than a jersey dress as well which makes it feel a little bit more like nice so this is another great option another dress that will go really well with my birthday bag as well so that is also very exciting let me know what you think about this one i really love how fitted it is it's just really really lovely and it's really structured it's got these seams that kind of run all the way down and it will work really nicely with a multitude of shoes as well so depending on if we get some like fairly decent weather this could be an option.
So that is it for my little birthday dress try on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which was your fave in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me and trying on some birthday dresses. It's cheered me right up. I hope you're all having the best day and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.